What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? Man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon 5-3. Man, I'm back again, man. I was going to go live tonight. I was going to go live tonight, but now I got caught up in watching my little shows, and it kind of got a little too late, so therefore, <clears throat> give y'all a video. And pro I mean a, a video. Dang. I mean a, a story. I finna say movie. <clears throat> a story. <clears throat> and I'll probably go live tomorrow. Yeah, we'll probably go live tomorrow. Yeah. Anyway, now, I tell y'all all the time. You know, moms kicked me out the house around 14. And, um, you know, uh... She didn't want she didn't want me around there with my gang banging stuff no more. You know what I'm saying? Houses getting shot up and stuff like that. <clears throat> she was like, you gotta go. All right, cool. No problem. I ain't tripping. Now I also told y'all all the time that, you know, I always stayed with women. You know, different women. I kept a, I kept a lot of them and I stayed with different ones. When one would trip out, I would leave and go to another one. Had to always have you something on the back burner just in case something went wrong. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, man, almost all the time, some, you know, usually end up going wrong with them women. First time you do something they don't like. First time you say something they don't like. First time anything jump off that they don't like. Y'all know the first thing they gonna holler is what? Get out. You can go. Get out. All right, man. Cool. <clears throat> like I told y'all all the time, I'm transparent. I'm going to tell you about the stuff that make me look good. I'm going to tell you about the stuff that make me look bad. On this one right here, I kind of look bad, y'all. I did some real gang goofy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now, this ain't no video about no ooh exciting drive-bys or stuff like that. This here is just a video to tell you know, just to let you into my world, let you know some of the stuff, you know, back in the day, I went through the ups and the downs and the turns around, you know what I'm saying? Everybody went through a lot of stuff, and it's just a story about something that happened to me. Y'all gonna laugh at me, y'all gonna like, uh, tune for real, man? I'm like, yeah, man, it happened. Okay, so now, back in the day, I used to have a drinking problem. Um... I don't know if I want to call it a drinking problem or not, but now I was, well, yeah, I had a drinking problem. Yeah. And I told y'all about the time I almost end up, uh, shoot moms because I was drunk off that eight ball. Now I didn't have a drinking problem with all them other type drug. I mean, uh, alcohols and stuff. I drunk that eight ball, you know what I'm saying? Which I still do up today. Occasionally, not like I did back then. Back then it was, it was on like Maggie Stone. You know what I'm saying? It, it was, it was twenty. It, it, it was it was twenty five eight. I had to have it. Woke up with it. Went to bed with it. Anyway, I used to I used to have a motto. I would tell myself if uh, I didn't pass out and piss on myself, oh, I wasted my time. I ain't I ain't really did no drinking because I used to get so drunk, homie. I would literally pass out and piss on myself. Um. Wake up in some of the strangest places. All and and I wake up laying in alleys in enemy hood. Uh, I done woke up with with a uh, stray dog sitting around me. You know, I wake up. You know, what I'm saying strange places all on. I look up dog looking at me. Like you cool, you cool, man, you cool. Man, I look at this dog like, man, where am I at? It been, man, I done woke up in places, man, where I ain't had no business being. How I got there, I don't even know. No, none of that. I done woke up over homies' houses. Don't know how I got there. Over homegirl spots. The whole hookup. You know what I'm saying? Just gone. Just drunk. For no reason. And I was a violent drunk. Yes, I was a very violent drunk. Man, back in the day, when homies see me finna go there, they see me drinking. But now when they, man, look, the ones who wasn't some straight up riders, boy, they'd get ghosts. They'd be like, man, I'm gone, man, cuz, man, tune, drinking. I'm, man, I'm, y'all know, cuz I'm finna fight. We finna, man, I'm finna take off on somebody. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna find one of the homies and, and, and beat them up and all type of stuff. Now, like I told you in the past, a couple of times, 
they paid me back. I know, you know, and they had the planet plotted. They laid in the cut. You know, little homies. They were like, yeah, oh, he finna get drunk. As soon as he get drunk, man, we gonna beat his behind. And I don't want, you know, yeah, they done paid them. Boop, boop, bop, bang. I come to the hood the next day. I told y'all about it before. I come to the hood the next day. I got some doohickey knots on me. Like, man, dang, man, where that come from, man? What happened? Man, y'all jumped on me, man. Man, everybody playing crazy. No, big homie, cuz. Man, oh, man, you was tripping, man. You, you fell. I what? Cuz you fell, homie. You were falling down. Hmm. All right. Okay. All right. Which was a good answer because if they would have told me something different, man, I would. What? I'd have went. I'd have went. I'd have went. I'd have went cuckoo for cocoa puffs on one of them, you know. But anyway, man, my eyes, man, I went walking, man. Shoot, my eyes still messed up. But anyway, man, look, this. So this story goes to a female that I was staying with. I, you know, we was cool. You know, we was real cool. But now I was fooling with her doing my drinking period. My drinking period. Look, she had a sister that, 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 man, we didn't get along. We didn't get along. We didn't get along, period. I couldn't stand her sister. And her sister stayed with her, man. I'm, a, you know, so when I co I'm coming in, the sister already there. I can't change this, you know what I'm saying? They sisters, you know, boom. It was what it was, is what it is, it's going to be what it's going to be or see. You know, anyway, we could get along. Her, We kept, my girl stayed in, in the middle of me and her arguing all the time. She wanted me gone, she wanted me out, but now her sister wasn't going to go for that. Her sister was not was not going to just let me leave like that, you know what I'm saying? And they, I used to hear him arguing about it, man, you, you need to go. He ain't, he, ain't, he ain't good for nothing, he only do his game, man. We want to bring his homeboys over here. He ain't paying no bills. He ain't whoop, whoop, wow, 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 wham. I'm like, man, I'm used to, I like, man, I used to, man, I used to cuss her out. Not like that, like that. Was I cussing her out? Like, yeah, back then I was cussing. I cuss her out. Yeah, I was cussing her out. Man, I cuss her out. Man, 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 oh, man, you shut up. You whoop, whoop, wow, wow, wow. You know, you know I, man, I cut loose with both barrels. Like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she. Which she was really kind of fighting to lose a battle. It was like ice skating uphill. Because no, I wasn't paying no bills. No. Uh, I wasn't finna go get no job. Yes, I was going to bring the homeboys over there. Yes, I was always drunk, coming in, tripping. Yes, I ran the streets all day and all night, came home when I felt like I wanted to. But it, at the end of the day, what her sister couldn't understand, no matter what I was doing wrong, no matter how I was acting wrong, shh, her sister was going to put up with all of it. Because I was putting it down. <laughs> what? You catch you one of them old ones who ain't had something in a minute. And boy, here you come young and strong and go to laying it down on her like John Henry. Boy, you can get away with anything. <clears throat> women, y'all know I ain't lying. Especially you older women. Y'all know I ain't lying. And, 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 and homies out there, y'all know, boy, y'all know, boy, look, when you give it all to them, what they gonna do? Get right. So, it was just a catch-22 with her and me. Danged if you do, danged if you don't. Man, time going on, time going on. I wasn't really, I wasn't really worried about her kids. She had a, she had an older, I was, let me see, I was in my 20s, she was in her 40s, uh, her early 40s, I think she was like 41, something like that. Um, she had a, she had an older daughter, but her daughter was all, her daughter didn't even stay there. Her daughter was always gone. Her daughter was in her 20s too, was gone, you know. And um, the few times I would run across her daughter, she was cool, you know, cool, 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 cool. Um, she had a son, but her son didn't stay with her son stayed with his father, and they lived way up in Oregon, Oregon somewhere. So I wouldn't, I wasn't tripping on that part of it neither. But um, you know, she would all, you know, how women do want to put a little money in your pocket and see you here and there. And um, 
But now me and her sister, though, which was a trip, though, because usually in situations like that, um, the dude end up messing with the sister. But I, it was it wasn't even that type of party with me, though. <clears throat> man, her her uh, her sister looked like uh 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 man. Mm -mm. I, man, I can't even make no joke on it. I can't even make no joke on it. She just wasn't my cup of tea, y'all. But as time goes on, time goes on. You know, like they tell you, if you if you let something go long enough, eventually it's going to, you know, it's going to do itself. Man, look, this where y'all finna laugh because this where the rubber met the road at, y'all. Man, one day, man, I'm in the hood, man. I've been drinking. We've been kicking it. <clears throat> We've been down there on 116th and Avalon with the, with, with the, with the, with the A-line homies. All night, we've been kicking in the A-line apartments, just run up and down, running run, running up and down Avalon, run up down Imperial, back and forth across Imperial. Used to be a little motorcycle club right there. Uh, we used to be in a motorcycle club before we um before we went to war with the 11 dudes in hoods. Uh, we used to kick it. We used to all be in a little motorcycle club right there, kicking it. You know what I'm saying? It was fun. Drinking and just doing our thug thizzle, you know? So I've been out drinking, kicking it, man, having a acting a fool. Um, I done got pissy drunk. I done got pissy knocked down drunk. And the scenario played out like it usually always do. The homies, you know what I'm saying, they be knowing where I lay my head. So they will take me home. And now that's one thing I would do. That's why you when old girl said, Man, he bring his homeboys over there. What I would always do is let my, let, you know, I let my people know where I sleep. You know what I'm saying? Where I live, where I'm staying, just in case. You know what I'm saying? They know, they know I wasn't at mom's house, but in case they had to get me home or in case they had to come pick me up or, you know, whatever, any type of emergency that would pop up, I always had to let them know where I stayed at. So, bang, it was cool. Well, we were staying at the time. It was, it was you know, it wasn't enemy territory or nothing like that. So, it wasn't no problem with them coming over. Cool. So, um. Uh, when I got pissy knocked down drunk where I couldn't stand up, couldn't remember none, couldn't speak, or was incoherent, just out, out of you know, out of my mind off that eight ball, they end up scooping me up, putting me in the car, taking me home. They taking me home. Take me to old girl house. So boom. Now, a lot of this I don't remember. I'm giving y'all, I'm giving y'all a lot of this from you know the aftermath of being told what happened and stuff like that. Because I was gone. There's no way in the world. I could have told y'all this part of the story without, you know, getting cooperating, you know, stories from other people because I was gone. I don't remember it. Anyway, so what had happened was that I got towed down drunk. The homies end up throwing me in the car and take me home, take me to the old girl spot. So they say when I get there, um, they knock, you know, knock on the door, boom, 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 old girl come to the door, like, here he go, man, you know he drunk, man, y'all, you know, go ahead and get him, boom, 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 so she get me, she used to it, she take me, she take me now, now the house was a one, I mean, not a one bedroom, but a, a, a one floor house, you have to, one to, we didn't have to worry about going up no stairs, cool, so, um, she take me in the house, luckily she get me, cause she was a little bitty thing too, y'all, she get me to the back bedroom. She get me to the bedroom. Y'all know, you know, a lot of you women out there, y'all done dead with y'all dudes who come home un under the influence of drugs or either alcohol. They out of it. Y'all y'all got practice at, you know what I'm saying, getting them in the bed, getting their shoes off. Some of y'all can go ahead and un undress them all the way down to their underwear. But now some of y'all, y'all just take their shoes off and just let go and leave them in the bed. You know, you can't, you can't get all this off. But now with old girl, even though with her being a small woman, she was able to get my clothes out. She got, boom. But now she only got them off down to my box. She left my boxes off. Cool. Anyway, so during the course of the night, I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. Like, like it ain't no thing. I think it ain't no thing. You know, I guess I'm asleep. Somehow, someway, I had to use the bathroom. I had to use the bathroom. Whoa. Um, even though you can be drunk, even though you can be incoherent, even though you can be just gone, your body is on autopilot. 
Uh, move cat, my cat, my cat, my cat, right in back of you, right in back of us, y'all. I don't know. Hold on, let me hold. You. I don't know what she's doing. What you doing, bro? Hmm. Come here. Come here. <coughs> What's wrong? My bad. Dang, I pulled her tail. She hollered. Y'all heard her? Hey, I'm back. My son, I'm sorry. I don't like hurting my baby like that. But anyway, it don't make no difference how drunk you are or how up under whatever you are. Your body will go on autopilot. Man, the human body is a wonderful mechanism, y'all. The is a wonderful, wonderful mechanism. If the human body is going to function and do what it needs to do to uh, get relief or help itself, fix itself, or make itself stronger. Whatever it needs to do, it's going to do it. Uh, whether you sleep, whether you woke, whether whatever, you know what I'm saying? Your body going to make you listen to it. And that was one of these situations right here, y'all. Um, I'm asleep. I'm gone. I, I, you know, I don't remember nothing. I'm gone. I'm drunk. I'm gone. But uh, quite obviously, during the course of the night, I had to use the bathroom. But it woke me up. It woke me up to the point where I realized, okay, I got to use the bathroom. I woke me up. Yeah, I got to use the bathroom. Now, listen. This going to trip you out. This going to this gonna trip you out. When I got out the bed, now all this hearsay, all this hearsay, I got out the bed and I left out the bedroom and I called myself going to the bathroom. But instead of me going to the bathroom, I went to the sister's room. I'm thinking it's the bathroom. I had to been thinking it's the bathroom. Boom. I opened the door and went in. Her sister didn't wake up right then and there. When I went into her sister room, I went right over into the corner of the room, y'all. Wop. And pissed. In pissed. Mm. I had to use the bathroom. Now, of course, I'm giving it to you how it was given to me because I don't remember spit. Her sister wake up, see me in her room pit in the corner. At first, you know, she don't know what I'm doing. So she get up hooping and hollering. When she come over there to me, because now they, they said I was leaning on the wall. <laughs> they said I was leaning on the wall. Pissing like a racehorse. Her sister re realized that I'm pissing and went 5150. She already don't like me. She already don't like me. She started hollering. Ah, Whatever she was hollering, you know what I'm saying? Uh, cussing me out, hollering, uh, hollering for her sister to come in and get me or whatever, 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 whatever. But she was hot. She was mad. Um, I know they were saying that she was like, man, this son of a bee. Pissing in my whoopty my my god whoopty wang room. You better come get this fool. He pissing in my room. Man, she hot, she mad. Like I say, she already don't like me. She hit me with an umbrella. Did I feel it? No, I don't know nothing about. I I don't know nothing about that. But. You know, later on, you know, after you know, after a while, you know, talking about it. And uh she, I hit you upside your head with an umbrella. I beat you with that umbrella. But anyway, supposedly she beat me all upside the back of the head with the umbrella. While she hit me with her umbrella, her sister ended up coming in there. Cartoon, what you what you do? What you they I wasn't studying them. I wasn't I had to drain the anaconda. I, I wasn't studying them. Man, listen, they say I finished, I finished pissing. Not only, not only did I not leave her room, I turned around instead of me leaving out the room. They say I got in her bed and they say she was going crazy. Oh, this mother. I laid down and had the nerve to pull the covers up. Of course, you know what I'm saying. But girl, she rushed me, snatched the covers off, grabbing me. Get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. I don't want to get up, but now finally she get me up. She take, she stumbled, she take me back to her bedroom, put me back in the bed. Put me back in the bed. 
Now, they end up cleaning it up. They end up fussing. They fussing and all that, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So I was told. They fussing and all that. Anyway, the next morning, I get up. When I get up, man, I get up. Uh, My baby, she ain't in the bed. So I'm like, hey, I'm like, Steph. For y'all don't know, her name was Stephanie. But I, I, I'd say Steph. I'd go to the house and Steph. Stephanie, Steph, Steph. So I hear her holler through the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, man, what's up? Come here. So she come back. She sit on the edge of the bed. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there shaking my head. She like, you remember last night? I'm like, uh, remember what? She said, you don't remember nothing you did last night. I'm like, no, nah, what I do? She said, you don't remember nothing. I said, man, quit playing with me, girl. You know, I, I, don't, I don't remember, you know, if I was drunk, you know what I'm saying? How my mind be playing with, you know what I'm saying? I still, I got a little slight hangover a little bit. So <clears throat> what's she doing at this point, at this point in time? I don't want to go through it. She, come on, say what you're saying. What happened? So she proceeded to explain to me and tell me everything I did. Everything I did. So I'm like, man, what? She like, yeah. Everything I did. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, man, you lying. She's like, no. Took me in her sister room, showed her sister was gone. Took me in her sister room, showed me the spot. She like, we can't do this one. I'm like, what you mean? What you, what, what's up? We can't do this one. She say, look, I'm cool on you. Baby. She didn't say it in the, those exact words, but her words was basically, I'm cool on you. I can't do it no more. You got to go. I'm like, okay. I'm like, all right, cool. I argued with her a little bit, but she was like, nah, you got to get out of my spot. You got to go. You got to go. You got to go. I'm like, all right. I leave. I stayed in the, I stayed in, uh, in C and, um, and we had, a, we got a, we got a, uh, back then we had a hotel. Everybody, everybody in that area used to always go to this hotel, especially us in the Broadways. We used to always go to this this hotel. Um, it's right there on. It's right there on like on uh on on uh. Let me see. Okay, Main Broadway, Bigger Road, Vermont. If I'm not mistaken, don't get me wrong. It's right there on like Forty Third and Vermont. If I can remember, right, called it was called Little Caesars or. Or Caesars, those little Caesars, right there. Everybody, man, anybody out there, y'all know what that's at. Right there, go right there, boom. Everybody, you go up in there, man. Look, your girl looking for you. Don't go there, cause man, in that area, in on that in, on that east side, like in that area, in them fifties and them forties and them thirties, every girl if they looking for they do, they coming right there. Cause boy, we try to hide the car and be back up in there, slipping, dipping, and, and tripping. You know what I'm saying? Man, boy, I seen many. I seen many a knockdown, drag out. Man, them girls come up in there and see that car, and they they trying to find out what room to do it in, you know. And there it go, you know. But anyway, the homies put me up in there for about two days. They, you know, what I'm saying they come together with some little money, put me in there about two days. Remember, I tell y'all all the time, man. You know, back then to me, females run like the bus every 15 minutes, you know. So it wasn't nothing to you to crack, go crack another one, crack another one, and move in. I man, I moved quick too. I moved quick. Found me something. Found me something. That a lot of times they don't be on the good looking side, but boy, look here. If they had a roof to put over my head, man, I was sliding in the bed, you know? And I and my thing is, it's a trip now. I ain't like that no more. But back then, I should look for the ones who had at least at least two at least two, three kids, you know what I'm saying? The reason why that was is because I'm knowing she getting them food stamps. You know, I'm knowing that check was coming there on the 1st and the 15th. Now, it's going to be a lot of y'all out of state that don't know what that mean on the 1st and the 15th. But a lot of y'all that's too young, <clears throat> y'all don't know what that mean on the 1st and the 15th. Um, 1st and the 15th when that check used to hit, man, them food stamps, that money. You know what I'm saying? Here it come. And um, that way I knew I was going to always have me something to eat. I wasn't that that mess. Because, of course, I was so gone back then. I always knew in my mind. I said, sure, I ain't going to be out here too long anyway before I go back. They ain't going to lock me up for something. 
because you know what I'm saying I was I was getting my bang on. I was I was John Wick of the Crips, you know. So I'm knowing I wasn't gonna stay out there too long, you know. Anyway, but that and that's what you that's what that's what happened. I was out there for about another month. Next thing you know, I tell you all the time, like Motel Six, they gonna leave a light on. And he's going back, you know. But anyway, man, that was one of the most. I just had to tell that little stuff, man. I'm, you know, and let y'all know all. I tell y'all all the other, you know, stuff. I just figured I'd tell y'all some of the little mundane. Y'all don't know what that word means. Look it up. But I figured I'd tell y'all some of the mundane stuff. So I'd be like, oh, man, Tony is human, you know. <laughs> he is human. Yeah, man. But anyway, man, that's me, your big partner, Cartoon 5-3. I represent the gangsters, homie. The Avalon gangsters at that. I'm out. Peace.